What's up, Barb? You're always the first on here. Always the first. Always can count on you guys. I just got done doing like 3,000 steps. <laughs> so, what's up, Tamara? We have a good, fun day today of workouts. It's going to be a fun one. I had to get a tre uh, the, another treadmill. I had to. I needed it. It's so cold out now. So, actually, I should figure out how I'm going to put it. Um, okay, so, yeah, I moved some of my workout stuff in my basement. What's up? It's probably never cold there in California, Melissa. It's cold here. That's for sure. It's so cold outside. So I was like, I'll walk. I walked for like, I don't know, 20 minutes before this. Are you guys ready? Oh, and we have the French onion, um, the French onion beef tips in the crock pot. They smell so good. I'm so excited for that dinner. I'm so excited. You walked in. Oh, I didn't realize it got that cold there. Did not realize that. Um, you guys all just watching. Valerie, are you at least joining me today? Somebody better be joining me. We better be doing this with somebody. So today what we're going to be doing is, if you guys could tell by the title of today's workout, it is going to be a glute workout. It's going to be glutes, um, which is probably what Valerie did this morning. If I had to guess, that's probably what Valerie did. Um, we're probably all super sore in here. Our pecs are probably, our upper pecs, we're super sore. Um, welcome. Welcome, Sandra. I'm watching for later. Yes. But we are doing glutes. Um, I'm so sore too. So sore. Jenny, did you end up doing it last night? It was a good one. It was a good one. So what we're going to be doing today, we're doing four movements. We're going to do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest. Um, so when you guys see a rep scheme like this, just know. That's weird. All those balloons that just went by. That was the weirdest thing ever. Um, so when you guys see it, work really hard for the 40 seconds. Work really hard for the 40 seconds. And then 20 seconds, is it's a decent amount of rest. It's 50% of the time we're resting. 50% of the 40 seconds. So um, that's that's a lot of rest. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. And then we're going to go into the next minute. I have no idea what that was. No idea. So the first movement is going to be goblet squats. So all we need today is dumbbells. That's it. Dumbbells, that's it today. And a chair. Dumbbells and a chair or a bench. Those are the two things you guys need today. So go grab a dumbbell or dumbbells. Um, you could get away with just one of them today. One dumbbell, if that's all you have. But And a chair um, or a bench. So first movement we're going to do is going to be You're just going to need one dumbbell. It's dumbbell goblet squats. So goblet squats, we're going to hold this dumbbell right here on our chest. We're going to squat down. We're going to stand up. So you guys, you're going to notice I'm sitting back and I'm not coming forward to my toes. Not doing this. I, I know I can't see you guys to call you guys out today, but if you guys need a little reminder, just set a chair behind you and remember, sit back. Yeah, you're not going to get full depth, but at least you're working the right range of motion. Um, so sit back, knees are over your toes, forward, back, forward. Those are goblet squats. So that's gonna be the first movement is goblet squats. Second movement is gonna be the Bulgarian split squats. These kind of suck. There's no fun way, there's no fun thing about a Bulgarian split squat. Um, you guys might. The split squat. So what we're going to do on this one, we're going to put one foot, one toe on the bench like this. That actually hurts my knee really bad. 
So have a cushion or something for your knee if you need it. But we're gonna start at the bottom, bottom. So we're down here, my toes on the chair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive through this heel, the heel that's planted, not the foot on the chair. This, this foot is literally gonna get me nowhere. So I'm gonna drive through the heel that's planted and I'm gonna stand up using this one quad, that's it. So stand, back down, stand, back down, stand. That is gonna be the split squat on your left side. When we switch sides, we're just gonna bring the other toe up and we're gonna start at the bottom. Starting at the bottom is easiest because you can figure out where everything goes and you're not all wonky. And this chair is actually really high um, for my toes. <sighs> Did not realize how high this chair was compared to like a bench. Um, don't really have many other things. Okay. But those are going to be the Bulgarian split squats. We're going to do 20 of the seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side. So we are going to go halfway um, on the one side, switch halfway. Because you don't have... Okay. Good morning, good morning. Um, third movement is gonna be, so the Bulgarian split squats, glute bridges. These glute bridges are gonna be, we do these pretty often. These are a great glute workout, glute movement. We're gonna come on down. So what we're gonna do on these, our feet are gonna be in front of us. We're gonna have our weight on our pelvis. Um, your feet, make sure your feet aren't too far out. Oops, can you see me? Make sure your feet aren't too far out. Make sure your feet are kind of in front of your butt so you can get higher up. Um, so you're now you're gonna drive your shoulders through the ground. Drive your shoulders through the ground and squeeze. Squeeze hard at the top, you guys. Make sure you guys full lockout, back down. Up, full lockout, squeezing your glutes, back down. And then go again, same thing. And don't be scared to increase weight on that one and go heavy. That's the third movement. Fourth movement is going to be step ups. Um, ottoman? I don't really have an ottoman down here. I mean, I have a huge ottoman to my couch. Okay, so step ups. Step ups, you're going to hold weights. I want them to be weighted. So. Step ups, we're gonna step up onto this chair, whatever you guys are using. Step, step. Make sure you guys are switching dominant leg too. So whether you guys go, when it says halfway switch or every other switch, I don't really care. You guys can alternate or you guys can do one leg. And then when it says halfway switch to your other leg for dominant. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. I didn't know you guys could even do that on here. Um, but that's the movement. I'm going to try to find something a little bit lower because those Bulgarian split squats are going to suck with that high bench. Okay. Let's use my son's little chair. I think this should work. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Okay, bye Patrice. Um, hey you guys, let's do this. Um, for the warm up, we are gonna just do a minute of butt kickers. We're gonna do a minute of air squats. Then we're gonna get into this. So butt kickers, we're gonna do some air squats. Well, and then we're gonna do a little bit of stretching on the ground. <laughs> but let's first do, I'm gonna set my clock on. It's going to be a minute total, but it is going to be broken up. And I'll show you what butt kickers are. They are great at stretching and getting our heart rates elevated. Ah, you guys, I can't even stand the ads now on SmartWad.
Okay, Tabata. 20 seconds of work. Okay, you guys ready? We're going to start with um, every minute. So we're going to go straight from butt kickers to air squats. I'm just trying to set this thing real quick. And we're going to do just two minutes total. Here's what butt kickers are. So butt kickers, we are going to... You're going to lean a little bit forward on butt kickers. So you're not straight up and going at it. You're just a tiny bit forward. And then when you go, you're just kicking your butt. That's it. Those are butt kickers. Air squats are just going to look like this. Goblet squats, but without the, without the um, dumbbell or kettlebell. So that's what we're doing right now for the warm-up. So let's get started, you guys. We're going to do um, every 20 seconds, we're going to switch. And we're going to do this for two minutes. So just keep going. There's no rest. It's just a warm-up. Okay. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. And just follow along with me. Two, one, go! Butt kickers. Keep going. Air squats. Come on, you guys. Butt kickers. kickers. This is our last time doing butt kickers. Last round. Air squats. There's that part of the warm up. You guys, let's go get on the ground real quick. Um, okay, you guys, get on the ground. Oh my gosh. I use Watt timer, Bridget. Wad timer. Okay, guys, from the ground, um, we're gonna start with. So you put one leg in front of you. This leg goes behind you. You're gonna come up. Put as much pressure as you guys can. Use your hands to help control how much pressure. If you guys can come. Down, come down. If you guys 
whatever stretch, whatever stretches feel the best. You guys can walk your hands over. Just make sure you guys are getting stretched in your glutes and your hips. We got our heart rates elevated. That's for sure. Switch legs. Okay, guys, let's do like 10 of the 90 degree, 90 degree leg things where we flip over. This is gonna help our hip, our hip flexors. They do hurt. They're not really comfortable, especially if you guys have tight hips. Um, I have really my right hip, it's just it's always tight. Um, so just go slow and try to keep your feet, your feet planted. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna try lift and back over. But make sure your legs are at that 90 degree angle too. And back over. Can't see any comments. I try so hard, you guys, to see comments. I, I can't see them. If you guys are commenting, I can't really see that far. <sighs> Man, okay, guys, let's put our feet out in front of us. <laughs> this is you guys are gonna see me struggle. So this is one of those that you want to just lean over and try to touch your feet. <laughs> try to touch your toes. Some of you guys probably have your hands around your feet and you're like locking your hands. Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, oh, mine are too. I can never do them. How about, oh yeah, I've used the chiropractor. A lot of times if you're a weightlifter, you have very, very tight muscles and it's like you lift weights. It's just your muscles always want to go right back. You just have to be an avid stretcher and I'm not. That's my biggest problem is stretching. I need to be a way better stretcher. Um, and when I say an avid stretcher, I mean like every day, 40 minutes of stretching. I just, I don't know. 
Um, okay, you guys, so let's get started. We're gonna do goblet squats. We're gonna do Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna do glute bridges. And we're gonna do step ups. It's okay to go heavier on the weight and to slow them down. Remember, it's okay if you guys wanna use weights for your goblet squats, use weights and slow it down if you need. That's okay. I'd rather you do that than an air squat unless it's your, your form that um, you have to compromise to put the weight there, then don't compromise your form for weight. Get good form, good quality form before you start adding in weight. But um, once you start adding weight, it's okay to, if you wanna use a 20, but you go a little bit slower than if you use a 10, that's fine. Use the 20, go a little slower, work your muscles a little bit more. But if you use 10, you wanna go faster, that's totally fine too. Just get good quality movements. We're gonna get started. Let's rock and roll. My friend said, Cole said that, she, Cole keeps saying he had ate the best steak he's ever had at your house last night. This kid normally will not even try steak. How did you make it? Zach is literally the best steak maker, steak whatever, griller. He's, he's just good on the grill. The grill is like his jam. That's so funny. Um, hey, what timer? In glute. Wait, if I am doing heavier in glute, should I increase time? I wouldn't. No. Oh, and the glute bridges? No. No, because you probably won't go too much slower. I have ads every time I open up SmartWatt. I have ads now. I It literally is making me crazy. It doesn't even let you pay if you want to pay. Okay. <sighs> Tabata. 40, 20. We ready? You guys, get some music going. Um, we're going to get started. It's going to be 16 minutes of, of work, so be ready. Starting with goblet squats. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Four, two, one. Let's go. Go. Goblet squats. Halfway there. Come on, you guys. Ten seconds. Rest. Bulgarian split squats. So this is one. You guys gonna, if you guys are holding two weights, put them in each hands to your sides. Or you guys can hold one weight like on your neck, on your chest, like a goblet squat. It doesn't matter. Round two. Go. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Glute bridges. Round three. Go. Man. 
halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Okay, you guys. Now we're gonna do our step ups. Remember, we gotta switch legs. Don't don't just step up with the same leg every time. Round four. Let's go. Switch. I try to alternate. That doesn't work for me. Halfway there. Switch legs, you guys. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Back to the first movement, which is goblet squats. Goblet squats, you guys. Round five. Go. Halfway there. Keep going. Ten seconds. Rest. Split squats. None of us are enjoying this, you guys. None of us are enjoying this, I promise. I need to... That's weird. Okay. Split squats. Round six. So. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. What's next? Glue bridges. Glue bridges. Round seven. Go. Halfway there. Make sure we're actually squeezing our glutes at the top. Squeeze everything at the top. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Okay, you guys. Now we're on to the step ups. Um, step ups. Guys, you guys be glad you finished. We're all working the same amount of time. 
halfway Good there. Part. We're all hating this, I promise. None of us are enjoying this right now. If you are, ah, you probably go a little bit harder. 10 seconds. Nothing's worse than rest. Nothing's worse than finishing a workout and thinking, man, I could have went heavier. Literally the worst feeling ever is finishing and thinking you could have done harder or heavier. It sucks because you, you can go heavier. You can literally pick up the heavier dumbbell right now. Goggle squats. Round nine. Go. Come on. Come on, you guys. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Halfway Switch. there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Thanks. Good bridges. Come on, you guys. Round eleven. Go. Halfway there. Keep going. Ten seconds. Rest. Gosh, step ups. Round 12. Go. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. Don't slow down now. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Last round. Last round. We're starting with group bridges. Last time doing these, you guys. Last full time. Round 13. Go. Come on. I know we all want it. We got to work for it. Half
halfway there. Ten seconds. Come on, finish strong. Rest. Split squats. Round fourteen. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. I'm gonna have to take, start taking joint mobility, you guys. You guys all talked it into like freaking existence for me. My left knee does not feel good. Okay, guys, glute bridges. Round 15. Halfway there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. You guys be a step ups. Last round. Go. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. I'm gonna bring you guys down here for a minute. When are they on? That was a really good one. That was a really great workout. Um, recorded. This will be posted. So Jennifer, this one will be up as soon as I like. Once I end the stream, you guys can watch it right after. It's a live one with me. So it's recorded right now. It'll be posted later. But say you want to do it now, you guys can go on and do it. But let me go check out the workouts and see when they're, when the last one was up, because I, I actually have no idea. Lynn adds them to this thing. So the last one was 28th, 30th. Okay, so we need Tuesdays up. Okay, Tuesday should be up um, probably later today. The whole last week was up. 17th. Need a new toilet seat. Um, Constance, so make sure you look. Hold on. So on our website, you'll see, you just scroll 
So the 24th, the 26th, 27th, 28th, 23rd, and then under it, you'll see the 30th. Let me know if you guys don't see them. I'm, I'm exhausted, man. That was brutal. Make sure you guys go take your post-workout. I'm dead, too. That was awful, you guys. That was extremely awful. That was bad. But at least we finished. I wish I could rinse off before my appointment. But I don't think I have time. Oh, I can't wait for you to... Oh, foam rolling would help so much. If you guys can foam roll, that's amazing. Foam rolling, incredible. Yes, foam roll, stretch. It's great for our muscles to just elongate them and stretch them out and break up all the tissue and all the knots. Yep. And there's so many. Um, the one I could think of that we used to use was Kelly Starrett. I think you have to pay for the subscription now, though. It was free if you were military. But he has an entire, like, I think his is called Romwad, but it's all just range of motion um, workouts. It's just for increasing range of motion, which is a, yeah, so Romwad is range of motion workout of the day. So the entire thing was stretching. But he puts one out. He used to put one out every day. I don't know if he still does that. But his stuff was, um, I looked Monday or Tuesday and I didn't. On different days. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're up. We miss you, Constance. We definitely miss you on the workouts. Make sure you guys go take your post workout. I need to. I need to get out of my basement. So this is my basement. You guys all were like, is it finished? I don't consider this finished, but it's not a gravel floor. So I don't know what, what I would consider this basement because it's more finished than our last house's basement. So, but I don't think it's finished. So it's not that exciting. We only have two like little tiny windows. So it's very dark down here. By Valerie. Oh my gosh. My body hurts. How many steps are you guys all at today? I'm only excited because I got a treadmill and I actually have steps before like 7 p.m. Usually it's 7 p.m. and I'm like running around like a crazy person trying to get my steps. But I'm already at 6,300. And it was within the first five minutes on my treadmill, you guys. I just put it together. It was the first five minutes. And you guys all talk about working, like walking pads. You guys are all like, oh, I, I want the best walking pad, walking pad. I want to work while I walk. I was trying to text. I wasn't trying to text. I was trying to make a post, actually, while I was walking. <laughs> I stepped on the side of the treadmill. I almost fell into the concrete and hit my head because the concrete. I don't, like, I completely came off the treadmill. And I don't know how people walk on walking pads. Like, I just cannot figure it out. I couldn't even make a post. And I just was like, man, how do they do this? You've only been up for an hour. I'll try. I'm too low for this time of day. What do you mean you guys are too low? I could probably watch TV. What show are you watching, Tamara? Because we have our TV in front of the treadmill. So I'm like, eh, maybe I'll find a show to watch. I'm just not a big show watcher. Oh, I'm not a big show watcher whatsoever. I like suits, but I feel like I'm on episode three and I'm already like losing. Like, I don't know. I'm already like losing my uh, attention span for that show. 
I feel off the drink all the time. I know. I don't know if I could watch TV while walking, but maybe I can. When working. I was only going 2.9. I wasn't going anything crazy. I, I don't know why I had it on 2.9, but I did. I had it on 2.9, and I'm just posting my, like, little post, and I ate it. And I thought that was slow. Like, I don't walk fast. I... <sighs> okay, this one, let me go upstairs. <sighs> take my post workout. I'm like lightheaded from that workout. I guess I don't understand what you mean by visuals. You use visuals? No idea what that means for biking or walking. So say I was going to get back on my treadmill, which I might do, take your post-workout. Take your post-workout. Don't just get on the treadmill. Like if you guys just did that workout, take your post-workout and then get on the treadmill. Okay? Make sure you guys do that. I see a lot of posts or questions about that. Oh, man. If you guys didn't make the French onion uh, beef tips, I'm in my crock pot right now. It's a super simple one, um, super simple recipe. 462 calories, 51 grams of protein. It's probably already done. Oh, it smells so good. Literally smells amazing. My kids will be excited. We'll all be excited. I'm going to be scrambling like road. Oh, I gotcha. That's what, when I was at the gym yesterday, that's what was on like the screen or whatever. Like, you know how like, um, I don't know, there was a screen on the treadmill and it was a road or something in Costa Rica. It was cool. And I actually found myself watching it for a few minutes. And then I was like... Hmm. <laughs> I can't sit and watch that for that long. Let's get some water. So don't forget, you guys, the ignition with the Formula One. Half of a scoop of ignition for you guys, for women. Women, half a scoop of ignition, full scoop of Formula One. And you could even do two scoops of Formula One. So just know if you guys struggle to get your protein, you guys can do two scoops of Formula One. And it won't, you won't feel like bloated. You won't feel like Formula One's really easy to break down and digest because it is an isolate. Um, and it's one of the proteins that's like, it's in that smallest molecular form. So if you guys are struggling to hit your protein, take, um, like right now, two scoops versus one. All right. I'm about to let you guys go. We're done. 
So if you guys have any questions, there's actually a really good Q and A post in the Facebook group. Um, I went through it today. I know Olivia's on it. Valerie's on it. Like we're all trying to answer questions. So if you guys have any time, go even read the questions. They're really good today. The Q and A post, there's like 75 comments already on it. Just questions and answers. It's a really good post today. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, Melissa. Thank you.